Hey guys, what is up? So this is my film tip of the week. Uh, when you are like filming stuff and it just makes it, this is, <sighs> hey guys, what is up? So this is my film <clears throat> tip of the week. So when you are done filming and you get, go, <sighs> and I write intro blooper or bumper, this is a bunch of bloopers too, but just one time, I want to do this just one time straight through like I wrote it without messing up. Would you guys believe I actually write these out? I write these out and then like I memorize it and then I'll like do whatever I need to do and I'll say it. I'm a potato. Hey guys, what is up? So this is my film tip of the week. Um, after, when During the process of filming, something that gets really stressful and gets is like a huge headache, especially for me when I started making videos or films was the editing process. Now something that will eliminate a lot of stress and organize all your footage so it makes it a lot easier to tell your story is doing this. Take a piece of paper, have a notebook. I usually just use a notebook like this and I just put it in my backpack and it's there and I can just use a sharpie and I write it. Um, but this is this footage right here is going to be at the beginning of my vlog and so what I, what I do is before I start filming I just put this up to the computer, or not the computer, but the screen and the lens. I am, this is like my 20th time doing this. I'm not joking, guys. I'm not joking. But you put it up to the screen and it says, see it says intro bumper? Well, then what I know is that all the footage after this, all the 500 takes after this <laughs> will be all my bumper footage. So all I have to do is just make a folder. This is bumper footage. Like drag it all and throw it into that folder and I'm done. And I think this might be the, my only take. This might be the take. Enjoy the vlog, guys. I don't know. I, at this point, I have enough footage that's going to make funny a little funny thing at the beginning. I was so worried about not having enough footage at the beginning of this vlog to make a bumper, but I, I do now. <laughs> I got something in the mail. I wonder what it is. It's my it's my fanny pack. Explain something real quick. A little dark. Okay. So let me explain something real quick. You might be like, John, why are you getting fanny packs? These are not in style. You're a man. You shouldn't be getting a fanny pack. Yes, I understand this. I understand this totally. Let me take my hat. Actually, let me flip it on backwards. I totally get this. I get this fully. But the reason why I'm doing this, because I wanted to test this out, because I thought maybe this could replace like my backpack for just like my everyday vlogging. And plus, I'm going to be going on a lot of trips in the near future, at the end of January, it's gonna start this whole... But I have two trips planned, like, at the end of January, and then I have one close to, like, the end of, like, February. So, I thought it'd be kinda of cool to get, like, a fanny pack, too, to travel with, so I can put everything in there and just throw it off and go through security. So, this is the first fanny pack I got. It was, like, this heavy-duty, high-dollar fanny pack. The idea is I can be able to put my camera my camera, a lens, and then all my extra batteries, or like at least four extra batteries inside this thing at all times. That's the plan. So, let's investigate and see if we can do that. Okay, so, so far it looks pretty durable. It's pretty, it's like made out of pretty good material. And then, I don't even know the company. BP Vision. Okay, so there's just one main zipper. Holy hell. So there's this strap, which I'm assuming can go over your, almost like a satchel. Like it can go, like your arms go in it like this. You have this, and then you have basically like a, a thong version of a strap. So you can hook it to the sides like this. Like that. Like, 
like that. So those are the two options, or you can wrap it around your waist like this. The, I wish the opening was a little bit bigger. The opening's not that big, but you open it up and there's a lot of room in here. Hey guys, bear with me. So uh, this right now, what you see right here is pretty much my day-to-day -day vlogging equipment that I need. I need an extra battery, my microphone, my camera, my tripod, and then this is a 18 to 55, and this is a 55 to 250. Now the reason why I put these here, I usually don't use them, but I'm using my 10 to 18 right now, and I just want to see if I can fit two of these in here comfortably with everything else besides my tripod, then I'll be good to go. And I apologize for the audio. I am clearly not using my better audio equipment right now. This is the fanny pack, and I want to see if I can get everything into here. So far, like, I have my camera in here, and no problem at all. Now I can probably put this in here somewhere. I can put this in one of the pockets. My microphone fits perfectly in my 18 to 55 millimeter lens. You know, like I said, I was gonna try to put them on the sides. And do they fit? Let's probably put the butt first. Yeah, they fit perfectly. Fit in there fine. And even has a little thing that I can squeeze it and it stays on there shut. And then can I fit this? I can fit that in there perfectly fine. And put it over here. And then my charger with my extra battery. Can't, nope, I can't. I don't think it's gonna, it wouldn't fit in there. No, on my, on my uh, waist. It is bulky as hell, and I do have, and look, they also have these two little zippers. That, this side, so I could use it for little SIM card. I could put my card, re, my cards in there and stuff. But yeah, I give this one a thumbs up. There's supposed to be an ice storm tonight or today and it's not that bad out so I don't un I don't understand this I don't know where this ice storm is supposed to be coming from but there's supposed to be one tonight or it's supposed to be coming tonight um, but I'm about to go head out and meet up with someone who wants to start vlogging and they want to pick my brain about it I guess I don't know why I'd be the person you want to do that with but um, they also want to they also are have some film questions or something I don't I'm not really exactly for sure but uh, I'm gonna go head down to the plaza and yeah gonna have some drinks and appetizers so I'll probably see you guys in a second I am here at Kona Grill down at the plaza I've been here like maybe once my entire life uh, so I'm meeting up with this person uh, we're gonna talk podcasting vlogging all that good stuff. So, I guess I'll see you guys inside. Yeah, I was. Well, I went down that way to shoot a montage. I thought maybe I could maybe like get like a time lapse or something. Yeah. And since it's so cloudy out, it's it's, rough, not, a little rough it, it's not gonna look good at all. Oh, what is up, guys? Hey, it is. Tuesday afternoon, it's about 4 p.m. and I have just finished up, finished work. I'm heading to the gym now, and today will be I don't know. I was thinking leg day. I have my chucks. I don't know if I'm gonna do a leg day. I might just go ahead and do like a chest. Um, my back's a little tight, and so I don't really feel like aggravating it any more than it is right now. It's just. I don't know, it's weird, like some days I wake up and it's sore, some days I wake up and it's not. And that's kind of the story, hold on. But, I am heading to the gym and I'll probably end up just doing like a chest day or something like that. And check a chest and arm day. But I will see you guys in a second inside.
Diego show. Um, my name is Diego. Uh, there is no Blaine Hill this episode. I am currently on the road. In, uh, I'm in Missouri right now, I believe, and uh, on my way to a couple festivals, so, uh, fresh off their podcast of uh, Friendship and Breakfast. Yeah. Beers, <laughs> that's even better. And the Friendship and the Breakfast. Chicken and Waffle Show. I'm glad you came all the way to Weston to do this. Yes. And that we can do yours. I'm glad that we can double dip. Yeah. Yeah, we got oh. a big budget. Big budget. Well, big budget. Yeah, we do. Me out. And then tomorrow we, we shoot the fireworks and we get the elephants and the dancing girls, right? Yeah, and then we shoot the dancing girls. And then we shoot the dancing girls and let the elephants yeah. eat them. I thought we were gonna stamp. I thought we were gonna That's let them them. Well, we shot them though. That's fucking foolproof. You just feed. Wait, so dead. so I yeah. thought so we're not letting the elephants stampede the girls if we shoot the elephants. We're shooting the girls and then letting the, the elephants. We're gonna eat the girls. shoot the girls and then we're gonna force the elephants to eat the girls because they're herbivores. They don't eat meat. We're gonna torture two people basically, two uh two species, kill the girls. Make the elephants eat meat. I'm just gonna write down women murder. Perfect. That's a show on TV. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's on A and E. The television show. You know, A and E's women murder. <laughs> okay, pasta guys. So I am here at the. I don't know if I told you I had a work party. I don't know if you guys can even see me. I have a work party tonight. <laughs> Legends now. I'm going to Stanford's and Sons. So Aaron has a show tonight, and uh, he's opening up for some guy. But I told him that I would come and watch him do some comedy. And plus, like I always support Aaron because he's my co-host. Of course, I'm gonna support him and what he does. So let's go. We're gonna go and try to find. And I have no idea where this place is at. I guess. Uh, yeah. Maybe, from what I remember, I think it might be upstairs. Maybe. I might be heading, yep, I'm heading to the right spot. All right, so I think I'm here. And uh, I guess I will see you guys inside because I have to hide this camera somehow. This big ass DSLR. Yes, I was on the wheel call for Aaron Naylor. Clouser with the C, C L. The show hasn't started yet. Hey guys, what is up? So it is Sunday morning, and I'm here at the gym. And I have there was supposed to be like this big ice storm this weekend, um, so it's yet to really hit. It kind of hit on Friday night a little bit. That's about it that's really happened with this ice storm, but it's kind of raining out right now. It's misting and it's like 30 degrees. So if it stays like this, it will kind of freeze, kind of. And why did my voice shriek? But, but I have 30 minutes to kill. So I'm gonna do a quick workout, but I'm gonna do like all the signing off now. Go check out the Beer and Friendship show. The new episode, episode 105, is up right now. It's with a good buddy of ours that, actually, he's a new buddy of mine. I just met him. He's from Michigan. His name's Miguel. Not Miguel. How racist. His name is um, Diego. Somewhere in here, probably, you saw that we were a guest on his podcast. So you should go check out that. That's going to be down in the description as well. I believe it was episode... 29 like subscribe tell a friend share that'd be great awesome uh, you guys really like the drone footage stuff so I'm probably gonna start doing that more and I'm in the works I'm going to buy a drone I'm gonna buy one but I'm really debating if I really want to spend like 800 bucks right now and buy it or if I want to just go ahead and just spend like like three like 80 and just get one of like the Phantom 3 drones 
and like, because that only shoots in 2.7K instead of 4K, which is still good. It's really hard to notice the difference between 4K and 2.7K. The only way you're going to notice that is if, um, like, you're on a big screen. I had a thing about doing was just buying one and then taking it with me to uh, San Francisco and then just shipping it back, and then just returning it. Like, subscribe, all the stuff's down in the bottom. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know how I'm gonna split this in. So, because you're watching, I'm talking with just the idea of how I want to edit this week's episode. So I may or may not have done that. So this could be completely irrelevant. This could just be me just rambling and I might or may not use it, who knows. But, or I might want to do one of these, one of the cool things where like I'm talking like this and then I, you see me talking and it cuts me to like in the studio or something like that. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.